Hello and welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a Swiss roll, but in a salty version in small. So you can use these little bites as a snack, as an appetizer, as a canapé, as a side dish, on a big high tea buffet. I mean, seriously. Hello. 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 و فکر میکنم که خیلی هم چیز قشنگیه بعد خیلی هم خوشمزه است حتما خوبه؟ راستی راستی خوشمزه است Like always, I'm gonna leave the entire recipe in the description box down below. For this recipe, you're gonna need a few ingredients. The first one is toast, regular soft toast. The second one is mortadella or any other sausage. Third one is cream cheese and then pistachios. Let's get to work. So the first step is to take your toast, which is in this case a sandwich toast, because I like the soft version here and the slices are also bigger. I'm not going to throw away the edges that I just cut off. I'm gonna keep them, dry them and use them for other recipes. Next, you can see that I'm rolling out the toast very, very thin. That's important because we use these toast slices as our dough base for our Swiss rolls. Next, it's time to take a big plastic foil and put it on top of your working space and then start to spread the cream cheese on your toast slices. Once you're done with your first piece, put it on the plastic foil and then put the next slice directly next to that slice and then cover it again up with the cream cheese till it looks like this at the end. It's like a little carpet full of cream cheese with a toast base this is exactly how it should look it shouldn't be too thick the cream cheese layer but also not too thin just a nice kind of filling next it's time for our mortadella and i took this because the flavor is super salty and naturally they also put pistachios into the mortadella which fits absolutely amazing to our garnish so all in all i think you're gonna love this combination you can also try other combos and let me know in the comment section what kind of sausage spread you use you could use ham you could use salami just be creative and enjoy because cooking is all about being creative next as you can see we're going to start rolling up our little rolls you could also use a uh, math for for the sushi rolls if this would help you but i think um, for me it's fine with the plastic foil it is a little tricky but manageable once you're done with your first roll take yourself some more plastic foil and wrap you roll into this plastic foil. It makes it thicker and more stable. And you can flip the entire sausage better. And once you did that, it's gonna be much more stable when you put it into the fridge. Now, at least put this roll about one and a half hours into the fridge so that everything becomes a little bit more stiff so that you can keep working on the other layers later on because after one and a half hours you're going to take out your roll cut off the edges and then free up the roll from your foil and cover your entire roll up with the cream cheese layer not too thick not too thin it should just cover all the roll and just make sure it looks nicely and neat because this is going to be part of the decoration of the entire roll make sure you don't forget the edges and then at the end, just even out the entire layer so that it looks kind of straight, nice and neat. Next, it's time to cut your slices. This is a little bit tricky. Make sure you don't touch the roll too much because we want the spread look even. And then you should cut about one and a half centimeter thick slices. That's what what is like bite sizable. You could also go bigger, but like one to two centimeters is nice. It also looks nice 
as a decoration on the plate and now it's time for the fun part guys nothing is so satisfying like dipping your roll into this vast amount of pistachios my uncle he gave me this pistachios as a gift from persia they're just amazing look at the color persian pistachios are really the best like super super delicious crunchy smooth in texture and beautiful in color so fresh look at this Mmm, I can't wait to try these guys. And literally everybody gets just huge eyes and just want to bite in these when they see it on your breakfast or your coffee table or your snack table. Like this is a true star of your party. This is the snack of the snacks. I really like this recipe. Guys, leave me a comment in the comment section. What do you think about this recipe, of the appearance of this recipe and the idea? Try it out. Let me know what you think. And now it's time to try this delicious treats. guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end do not forget to hit the like button to hit the subscribe button and to come back next week on friday maybe saturday or even sunday maybe all of them because i'm gonna upload another amazing recipe video stay tuned isn't it wonderful that we all have more than enough to eat every day on our plates yes it is but unfortunately this is not the truth for many kids on this planet for less than 70 cents a day, you can share a meal with share a meal. Actually, three meals with one child. So let's make a difference. I'm gonna leave a link down below. You can follow it. It's so easy to share a meal. I'm so grateful that you helped me to make a difference. Thank you.